So I'm using my Windows 11 desktop computer right now and I'm trying to format a micro SD card, but every time I start the format, I get this message that pops up or error that says the disk is right protected. So I'm gonna show you three different methods you can try in order to remove this so you can format your SD card. Also in the computer management, I could not do anything with it. I found it down here under disk six and it says read only and if I right click, the option at the top is grayed out. These three options are available and if I come over here and right click, you can see that I hardly have any options at all. I cannot format, it's grayed out. So I'm gonna show you those three methods. So let's start with the first method. I got my SD card reader unplugged from the computer. I'm gonna pull the adapter out and down on the bottom here of the micro SD card, it's plugged in and it is a one terabyte. And on these little adapters, there's a switch and it's usually over here on the side. On this one, it's gray colored right there where my thumb is. You can see it, it's in the lock position right now because when it's down, it's in the lock position, that can actually cause that write protection error to come up when you're trying to format this. So what you want to do is if this is the situation you're having, you want to slide this little switch up to the unlock position up to the top. So what we're going to do now, like I said, this is the first method. I'm going to plug it back in and we're going to see what it does now. Okay, so I am plugging my card reader back in and we'll get this thing back up and we're gonna see what we can do here. First thing we're gonna take a look at is computer management. So now it's showing back up and if I go over here, it says it's online. Now it's showing removable. So if I right click on there, I now have the option to change drive letter and paths and the other options there. If I right click over here, I now have the option to format. So I could actually format this card right from here now, but I'm gonna go back into the other uh, devices and drives in here and we're gonna find it in here first. We're gonna format it this way. I mean, you could do it the other way if you want, but this is the screen we were originally seeing the error message. Uh, everything looks good there. I'm gonna click start click OK, and now you can see that the format completed. This option solved that issue that I was having. Now, if you're still having an issue with yours and you're still seeing that write protected error, I still have two other methods to show you. So let's just assume that you're still getting that error message. Down here on the taskbar, there's a little search tool. And what I'm gonna do is use that to go in and search for command prompt. It shows up right away just by typing command. So before I click on command prompt though, if you're in on Windows 11, and, and it comes up like this, come over here where it says run as administrator and choose run as administrator. If you're on a different version of Windows, like an older version, you just wanna make sure you start your command prompt in admin mode. So you can see it says here, administrator command prompt. That way you know you have full privileges and things we're going to do here. So what I want you to do from this screen, go ahead and type in disk part and hit enter. The next thing you wanna do is type in list disk and then hit enter. This is gonna show us all the drives on the computer. And if I go down, I think it's right here, disk six. I know that that little SD card is disk six. So I know it's this one here, it says online and it says 1000 GB, so it's my terabyte one. So with mine being disk six, I'm gonna select, I'm gonna type this in like this, select disk six. If yours is different, you type in there what yours is, just use it, the terminology there, select, space, disk, space, six. So you wanna type it, you know, just like that, but whatever one yours is. If it says volume, you could even put volume in there. Go ahead and hit enter and you should see that it selects your disk. Mine is selected, it says disk six is now selected, the selected disk. So then the next part here, I want you to type in attributes disk clear read only. So A-T-T -T, attributes, and then disk space and clear space read only. You wanna type that all in just like that and hit enter. Disk attributes cleared successfully is what you should see. Now go ahead and get out of all that. We can close out of all that. And then you can go back into computer management to try it, or you can go ahead and click on your drive again and go to format. I'm just gonna go through the process here real quick again, just to see if everything works okay. And yep, it's formatting. So mine formatted perfectly fine there. So the last method I'm gonna show you guys is going into the registry. So on Windows 11, I'm gonna come down here or hover over the little window and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose run. And then once I get the run command up over here, down on the run command, you guys, like I said, it might be a little different for you, but get to your run command. What you wanna type in here is reg edit, and then hit enter. So in here in the system registry, you just need to be careful in here. What I want you to do is go ahead and choose the one here that says H key local machine. 
and there's a little arrow over here you want to click that and when this drops down you want to come down to this little arrow and then go into system and then select this one here that says current control set the little arrow so that one drops down and then you want to choose the one here that says control and you want to click that little arrow to make that one expand so once you're this far double check at the top that you have the right path and that it looks just like mine uh, local machine system current control set control at the end because once you're under control we're looking for storage device policies down in the list here so storage device policies all like one word and i don't see it here so what we're going to do is we're going to create it so you want to come up under control you want to right click click new and then new key and then what you're going to do is i want you guys to name it storage device policies just like that. So then what you need to do is right click on storage device policies, choose new, and then choose D word value. Put that in there. And then what I want you to name that is write protect. Type in there, write protect. And then somewhere down here, just click in the white area so it actually saves it in there. So then what you wanna do is double click on write protect. When the box pops up, look at the value data, change that to zero if it is not a zero, and then click OK. And then what I want you to do is exit out of this registry. So I'm just gonna kind of go back up here, go like this, file, and then I'm gonna choose exit, and that's gonna take me out of the registry. Okay, so what you wanna do now is go ahead and unplug your SD card from the computer and reboot your computer. Just simply give it a restart, and then after it reboots, go ahead and plug your SD card card back in and then go ahead and try and format it. It should be, it should allow you to access the card by then. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this does help you out, leave me a comment below, hit that like button and share the video if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one.